In today's video, we're opening rare Yu-Gi-Oh! Blister Packs. What's up, guys? We are back with another epic opening where we are opening a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh's. I mean, pretty rare blister packs. This is one you probably don't see every day. We've opened it a few times on the channel, so you may or may not have seen me open it before. But Dark Legends is basically the United States version of Retro Pack, the original. We got this instead. Didn't get secrets, unfortunately, in there. But there's a lot of cool stuff like Exodia, etc., etc. It's a lot of old, old, awesome stuff. Shout out to Dr. Chickens for sending me these like a long time ago. And then I moved and like everything was all over the place. I found these the other day. And I was like, I never did that opening. So Dr. Chickens, shout out to him. Go check out his YouTube channel. He's a madman. He does crazy stuff. Gets in holes with snakes and opens Yu-Gi-Oh packs and probably was jumping off a mountain soon and flying through the air opening a pack next time. That's probably what's coming next. So go check him out. He's a madman. Let's hope he sent us something amazing. Oh, he also sent us Amazing Memories things. That shows you how long it's been. Whatever Amazing Memories came out, I'm guessing it's when he sent those like a year ago. So yeah, we're, we're getting to it. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be awesome. Before that, we give it. I don't know what I just said, but I think you know what I meant. Here's the giveaway. We have Gaia Soul, the Combustible Collective, Ultimate Rare First Ed. I pulled this in a Patreon slash YouTube member video the other day. If you guys want to become a Patreon or YouTube member at Special Footage Plus level, go check that out. You'll get one free video a month. It's exclusive to you guys. You get a little bit of an update on what's going to happen in the future. So go check that out. You can support the channel. And by the way, this is not going to be all the packs. I, I did throw in some pretty awesome packs. We got some uh, Legacy of Darkness. We got some Stars Overdraw. I mean, there's some really great potential rarity collection so yeah we're gonna open some good stuff today i'm gonna quickly open this maze of memories blister which is like a euro thing so i don't know if they come with promos or anything now it's just basically a special edition all right we've got maze of memories which can be uh pretty awesome because you can pull the gay guardian that's maze of memories right gay guardian dang that was wow that was a long time ago wasn't that 2023 like march wow okay okay yeah i i misplaced this uh this package it, it happens okay but don't worry not supposed to do a pack trick, apparently. European packs, no pack trick. I kind of like that about him, except that the card gets damaged in the back sometimes. Not in these, because... Actually, no, it isn't. Yeah, I don't really love that. Speaking of collector rare packs, let's open up this King's Court pack. Dr. Chickens. Let's see what... Oh, King's Court might actually be the same way. I'm not going to do a pack trick. We have Wick Dreadroot. Let's see if I was right. Pendulum. Eagle Claw. We have King's Knight. Number 39, Utopia. I was right. This doesn't mean it's a foil. It just means that the potential foil is right here. Okay, I mean, well, it is a foil. It's a super rare, but that's guaranteed. So, all right, number 49, Fortune Tune. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save these for a second. Let's not open those yet. Let's open a Rarity Collection 2-pack. Let's see if we can pull IP, Q, some sort of QCR. Opelosa would be great. One from the back is correct. We have Trap Tricks for Felicia. Rescue Cat, Twin Twister Super Rare. We have Foolish Burial. Let me know in the comments. Are you excited for Rarity 3 slash Bonanza? Or what do you think about that? I am pretty excited. I'm not gonna lie. The 200 card special thing. I'm probably gonna do a theory video at some point on like what 200 cards could be, like what I wanna see. And then maybe you guys, yeah, I think you guys would like that. We have Rescue Cat, Sound Magician Secret, and Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. So that means that was a dud Rarity 2 pack, unfortunately. That's okay. Burst of Destiny, first edition. We still wanna pull that Starlight Stratos. A very cool card, one, two. And speaking of Starlight Stratos, I traded the one I had that I got in a collection for an Ulti Stratos, which is now on Ruxin34.com. So if you wanna check out Ruxin34.com, you can potentially pick that up. Um, it was a trade plus cash and stuff. So like the Starlight's worth a little more, but uh, Gemini's just so you don't think I'm, you, you know, some people will be like, what, why'd you do that trade? It's a terrible trade. Also, I will be at Charlotte Collecticon this weekend. So if you guys are in that area or if you're planning on going to Charlotte, keep an eye out for me. I will be there. I'll have a little booth with some other people like Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh, Uber, Kraken, some other different people. So keep an eye out. It's going to be super fun. It's going to be a great time. I'm really excited about it. I want to see a lot of you guys there. I'm going to be recording some video, of course. So if you want to be in the video, let me know. Oh, favorite contact. We got an ultra rare. There we go. Our first real pull of the video. Favorite contact. I will take it. Ultra rare, not bad. Okay, Maze of Memories. And we are also getting close to 240,000 subs, which means we'll be 10K away from the big goal, which means that's where we're going crazy, 250. We have Blackwing Zephyros, Rear Yoku, we have Gay Guardian, Labyrinth Wall Shadow, Treacherous Trap Hole, and the Labyrinth Heavy Tank. Dude, I missed some of these retrains. They had some really cool retrains in Maze of Memories. Let's open a Rarity 1, then I might crack into this. I might do Dark Legends or Tactical first. Probably Tactical first. Let's do one from the back. We have a Lightning Storm Super. Remember that destroyed our investment? Alpha, we have Ancient Fairy Dragon. 
Spectre Border Ulti and a Fallen of Albaz. Okay, Ultimate Rare. I'll take it. That's not terrible. A lot of rarities in Rarity 1, so uh, we'll take anything that's high rarity. Inspector Border Ultimate Rare is one of those. Let's crack into the Tactical Evolution Blister Pack. It has Labyrinth and Nightmare as well. Look how off-center, like, mispackaged that is. That's interesting. So we've got a little bit of an error going on. Ooh, <laughs> error pack. Okay, let's see if I can open. I'm going to have to open this over here. Okay. Two packs. And then the promo is going to be tough. It's probably going to be bent in this thing. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bent. Got a little bit going on right there, too. But that's okay. Not horrible. All right. So we got our promo. Put that over there. Then we have our three packs. Look at this Labyrinth of the Nightmare pack. It's like literally wrapped like so far. And then this is like pushed over. It's crazy. They messed that up big time. Let's open a tactical evolution pack. I have pulled a rainbow dragon a couple of times. We pulled the unlimb. We pulled the first dead. So I have I have experienced those pulls and I would love to experience it once again. OK, or maybe three. I'm guessing four on this one. Let's see. We have a uh, Razor Lazard. I think I was right. These are the weird 2000 and like seven, eight area uh, era where it was like everything was super slimy. It's just a weird print. Venom Cobra flint missile and they're all kind of in bad shape the uh, the quality control was really really terrible for this this era we have venom shot we have king pyron creature seizure alien shock trooper can we get a foil car okay tactical evolution we pulled it in the live stream the other day let's see if we can do it again oh marine neos i think that's a pretty good rare actually marine neos might actually be worth a few dollars so we will take that. I'm not going to be mad about a Marine Neos. Tactical Evolution not doing too bad. Let's do uh, the last Maze pack, actually. That's kind of probably the least interesting pack left, even though it is a pretty cool set. Give us that Gate Guardian. It did take us... I feel like it took us a little bit to get the Gate Guardian, but it wasn't too crazy. We have Red Eye Soul. I mean, we are currently in the midst of not pulling two big cards, the Millennium Shield and the Dragon Master Magia, so it definitely was shorter than those. Sujin, the collector rares usually are, except Scapegoat. And uh, Gate Guardians combined. All right, we pulled the Gate Guardian. Not the one I was talking about, though. Okay, rarity one. Let's try you out. Let's get an Ash Blossom QCR right here. Let's see. We have the Dingirsu. Trap Brigade Revolt. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon Secret Rare. Change of Heart Ulti and Junk Speeder Ultra Rare. All right. Change of Heart Ultimate Rare. Very nice. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. Let's do a let's do the Labyrinth of Nightmare pack. The weirdly wrapped one. This giant flap. This is kind of crazy. These are like Euro feeling. Uh, uh, no, it's probably just because of the era, I think. Yeah, I don't think it's actually Euro. Okay, one, two. Man, these are like bent. If you got, Wow, and look at that. All the cards are upside down. You guys can see this. It's hard to see, but I think they're actually bent cards. Okay, four from the back. I don't even know what to do. Do we keep them upside down? Let's just flip them around like that. All right, Hysteric Fairy. These cards are like every... Like, they're all crazy weird shaped. We have Headless Knight. Lady Panther, Carolina Panthers, we have a uh, Grand Tiki Elder, Mask of Weakness, The Forgiving Maiden, St. Joan, The Fusion Gate. Oh, do we get something? It's a trap. That could be uh, the cover card. Let's see. Oh, the Secret Rare Magic Cylinder. Oh, my goodness. And it's kind of bent, actually. <laughs> Magic Cylinder Secret, check that out. It is definitely shaped a little weird, but it's in this weird slimy print. Okay, that is sick. <laughs> Dr. Chickens, you sent us a good pack. Pro I mean, like in terms of like value, this is not crazy because it's an unlimited Magic Cylinder, not super valuable. The card is not near mint because of like the weirdness of it, but that is a really sick one. I'm probably just going to put this in like a binder because I like to keep these weird print ones just because like, they're so unique. You'd only see them on this one era. So for Tactical Evolution, it's unlimited. For Labyrinth of Nightmare, this is the only time you can get them is in that weird print in these blister packs. So that's a pretty sick pull. Okay, let's keep going. A lot, lot, uh, lot of packs left. Let's keep it going. Let's see what else we can pull today. It's been a pretty good opening. Guardian Chimera, number 38. We've got Primeval Planet, TG Hyper Library, a Luber, Unchained Solar Rage, a Primitive Planet Rycophobia. Oh, it's Platinum. The Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill Alternate Art. I will take that. Very shiny, very beautiful. The Platinum Art is quite nice. Okay, Ancient Prophecy. Here we go. Ancient Prophecy. Can we pull a Ghost Rare? Not Rainbow Dragon. That would be pretty cool if we pulled that out of there. A Ghost Rare Ancient Fairy Dragon. Okay, wait. That's supposed to be the rare, I think. So let's do that. Maybe it's a Ghost Rare. We have Rekindling. Very nice card. Morph Trotting Magnet Bar. Spirit Burner. Water Hazard. Ragaguda, 
Brain Research Lab, The Emergency Assistants, Flambelle Fire Dog. Okay, that's an interesting card for. I think there's Edison decks around this and Future Visions. All right, super rare. I think I think this is a couple bucks. I think it is. It's probably 10 cents. Every time I say that, it's like something completely different from what I said. So it's probably not. Okay, last tactical evolution pack, slimy pack. Let's see if we can get a slimy rainbow dragon. I would not be mad. We already got a magic cylinder, which is pretty wild. The secret rare magic cylinder. I thought it was going to be massive restrict. I was not even thinking about magic cylinder when I was opening that. One, two, three, four from the back. We have Razor Lizard. Gift card. That's a money card. A few dollars. Get it? Money gift card. We have a uh, shield spear. Venom Cobra. Hard scales couple cover all parts of this gigantic cobra. It hunts by shooting out massive amounts of venom, but because of its large size, its attack pattern is easily predicted. Watch out, its attack pattern's easy. It's a giant cobra that shoots venom out of its mouth and has 100 attack. I mean, I guess it's really easy to predict. Ritual Raven, we have a light effigy, tribute summon, a light normal, and you can treat his two summons. Amulet of Ambition, pretty funny card as well. Neospatial Marine Dolphin, and here we go. Grass Chopper, a little... <laughs> Okay, that was a little crazy. Got to, it's, it's easier with the Insect Queen. I'm more practice, okay? Okay, let's do Stardust Overdrive now. We still have Dark Legends to come. A lot of cool things to be pulled in there. Exodia being one of them. Let's see what we can do. Stardust Overdrive. One, two, three. And then you do flippity flap, flappity flip. This is a 2009 pack, I believe. So we're at like 15 years old for Stardust Overdrive. How crazy is that? That's insane. Regulus, we have Toon Magician. Let's go. Infernity Force. Level Eater. Spider Egg, Reptilian Silent, Moray of Greed, draw three. We have Dijin, Presider of Rituals. He's presiding with a sword, or is that like a little fencing sword? And Reptilian Spawn. So a dud on that one. That's okay. That's okay. Let's open up this Dark Legends pack. Also, this says price 800. This has to be somewhere where like the currency is way different because there's no way this thing is 800 like dollars. There's that's not right. OK, and once again, shout out to the legend Dr. Chickens for sending us this. This actually, this is a really nice gores. Actually, there is a big line through the side. So, yeah, not as nice as it could have been. But uh, shout out to him for sending us uh, some of these packs and the Dark Legends are really fun to open. So. Let's open one of them. Let's see if we can get something crazy. We already did get the magic cylinder, so that was pretty amazing. Let's go and see what we can pull. I don't know what the pack trick is, but it feels like it's kind of split right there. Is that like a rarity thing? I don't know if that's I'm going to try this That because if that's a foil, you usually can't see them on. On Yu-Gi-Oh packs, uh, we'll see. I think there could be a uh, foil too. Kazuya, we have Jurai Gumo, Thousand Dragon. You can still get Exodia in the common slots. So we're going to see how many we can get. We can see if we can complete the thing with two. Right arm, we have Harvey Lady Sisters. Curse of Dragon, we have Toon Summon Skull. It's just all the classics in here. It's so cool. Mahavilo, Umi Ruka, Sonic Bird. Give us an Exodia piece. Come on, Black Illusion Ritual. Oh, I think there is a foil. Oh, Relinquish, super rare. Let's go. These used to be the ones I played in my Relinquish Goat deck, actually. I had a bunch of Dark Beginning, or not Dark Beginning, Dark uh, Legends once for some reason. That's a nice card. Super rare, Relinquished. And we got a right arm with the forbidden one. We'll save that for the next pack. We're going to pull all four other pieces, the head and the legs and the arm. It's going to be amazing in the next pack. All right. What a sick opening so far. Legacy of Darkness. Old school packs. This has been so much fun. I love opening old school. packs. Oh, it's another one of these guys. It's another one of these. These were all in the same lot, so it makes sense. Four faded back comments. It's happened three or four times now. It's pretty crazy. Let's see if we can get a faded back Yada or faded front Yada. We have Woodland Sprite. I have seen those uh, faded secrets from this set. Uh, Winged Meat of Giant Dragon, Cave Dragon, Skull Knight number two, Dragon's Rage, Uriah Kishin Clown, and we have Fatal Abacus. The Abacus is fatal. That leaves us with one final pack of Dark Legends. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Make sure to check out Dr. Chickens and shout them out, you know, or go down there and be like, yeah, you're awesome. You're the man, you know, whatever you want to say. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because at 250K, we're opening every pack, including Dark Legends, every pack ever made in Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG history. It's going to be insane. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be like a two and a half hour video. So, okay, last time I just split it like this. I'm going to try it again. That could be the rare though. So I'm gonna just going to go like that. Let's try that. We have the Armed Ninja. We oh, yeah. have Ruxin Special. Oh, the left arm. Okay, we're completing the Zodia. We have Baby Dragon, Joey Wheeler. We need the legs. We need the Exodia head. Come on. Seven tools. I can't pull the cards. Lord of D. We have Lord of D. So we got that one. Luminous Spark. We have UFO Turtle. 
Gravekeeper Servant, Black Pendant, Mystic Tomato, watch out, a Heavy Storm Rare, that's a nice card, and Thunder Dragon, that's actually a nice money card. So we did not complete Exodia. We got three out of six pieces. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of stuff coming up, including Charlotte Collects. God, make sure you guys are there. We are also going to be opening Light of Destruction reprint very, very soon. Probably like next week when you see this. Something like that. So get excited. A lot of cool stuff coming up. And don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com if you want to support the channel. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Jr. Barding, Robert F., Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.